we, uh, my son and I, got the air conditioning put into the shed. Now I don't have to worry about overheating the jars. And uh, my son did, did quite a bit of the work. And uh, we had to dis dismount it from our garage and move it over here and, of course, do a little carpentry work to get it installed. Uh, now I'll show you the inside. Well, it uh, I didn't put the cover on the face of it yet and the filter and so forth. I just uh, put in the uh, uh, foam, blew in the foam and was letting that dry and then seeing what I get. Uh, not a pretty job, but it's pretty good. And you can see by the temperature probably 74 degrees and that is extremely good. I set it to 77 and uh, I think 77 will be just fine um, for the summer. I'll have to, well, monitor it and I do have a monitor in the house. And uh, we really had to tear up the world in order to, uh, you know, get this put in. Uh, all of our, uh, <laughs> my uh, four foot shelving system and all that has to be moved. So, so we moved it to the other side of, for now. I got to do some cleanup and then uh, try to put things back together again. And, uh, but it's done, it's almost a done deal. And, uh, whew, saved, uh, saved the jars from exploding because it would get up really hot in here. And, uh, it's going to be over 100, you know, real soon. It's already been at 100, so this year's going to be a hot one. And hopefully we have electricity. If not, if we lose electricity, uh, it'll be a mad rush to try to get the, uh, canned goods uh, into the house if possible. Now that does look a little better with the cover on now. So y'all have a good day. There's lots of food in the pantry. We'll see you at supper time. Yeah, man. Good job.
Come down. 